Hello everyone, it's Vicki Jensen. I am the lead educator for Glitz Accessory and Such. And I'm here to show you another live tutorial. Hello, Hawaii. Hi, Sheila. So you guys got me, Vicki Jensen. Hi, Honey Badger. Hi, Maria. Hi, Pandora. Hi, Hyper. Hi, Wilma. So I'm here tonight. I'm just going to show you one quick nail. Take like a half an hour. But I just want to show you. I was working on this technique. Hello, Sharanda. Hi, Billy. So I'm just going to show you one nail because Nancy was about to go live. And I told her I was going to go live for her. And she's like, oh, no. She said, I was going to go live. I said, okay. Hi, Cece. Hi, Loyalty. Hi, Extra. Hi, Toodles. Hi, Laura. You guys are awesome. So I'm going to show you one quick live. And then probably take a 10 minute break and then Nancy's gonna be on after me. Hi, Weedy. Hi, Shay. You guys are so awesome. Hello, Tyler. So tonight I gotta show you. You guys have been, I've been, besides doing nail art, hi Nancy. Besides doing nail art, I also do, I don't know if any of you know, I do art on canvas. So I do acrylic arts, I do oil painting, I do all sorts of stuff. So there was, uh, I do acrylic art, I do acrylic pouring lately. Hi Yaz, hi Renal, hi Eka, hi Dana, hi Sylvia. So I do acrylic pouring art and then there's a technique that's uh, string art. And so you can do it on a nail. I've seen other people do it with chain and stuff like that, but I'm actually gonna do it with thread. So I'll give you a quick peek of what it looks like. This is like super quick. I was goofing around with this. Hello, Lydia. Hi, Rose. Hi, Lemon. So look at this. It's kind of a hot mess. It's gonna look better than that. That's all I show you. <laughs> Sneak peek. Hi, Pepsi. Hi, Lydia. Um, hi, Porta. Hi, Lady. So I already prepped a nail. So I painted it with our black, which you guys, this is only one coat because I'm like, it's solid. What more do I need? Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Pandora. So this is only one coat of number 24 of our gel polish. And then I coated it with matte top coat because if you don't know already, I have a very hairy dog. So if I prep my nail, <laughs> it's going to get covered in fur. Yeah, that is one coat of black. It's amazing. I think if I shine a light through it, where's my flashlight cure? This is my flash cure light. So I'll show you from the bottom. Look at, you cannot see through just a teeny bit. The pigment is so solid, it's crazy. And so I did one coat because I'm like, it looks good. Why do two? And um, I don't know who that is. So... I did one coat, covered it with the matte finish top coat. And then now what I'm going to do, you guys, this is so simple. You're going to die. Show the number again. The number is number 24 and that's our black. It is so amazing. So you guys can buy, we have a gel polish set. So you get a really good discount. If you buy the kit, you can also use my code Vicky J. And then right now on the site, it's 20% off for the kit. And then also when you use my code, you'll get free shipping on anything over $79.99 or more. And you guys, our sale ends Saturday. So if you have your cart full and you're thinking of checking out, check out soon. Hello, Tina. Can you go get my dog? My dog is needy. When I go live, you guys, he goes crazy. He's a little tiny dog with a really sharp coat. Oh, thank you. No, Tyler, you spelled it wrong. It's Vicky, V-I-C-K-I-J. No Y. You're close, though. Use a code at the bottom. <laughs> Hello, April. Hi, Patty. Hi, AC. Hi, Marjorie. So two coats. You do not have to put this matte finish top coat on because I've already cured it. But you guys, if you could feel this, it's amazing. It feels like velvet. Hello, business. Ah, Tina, you're so sweet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fresh coat of matte top coat on here. And I was trying to find something to hold it on, but I don't have anything. So I'm going to have to try and maybe I'll get my neighbor boys here. I'll get him to hold it. So one coat of matte. And you'll see why in a minute. I'm not going to tell you yet. You can put, you can do this in your wet black. But I'm doing it in matte finish for a reason. 
So Mr. Tyler, so Tyler that posted my code, so sweet. He's actually here. That's my neighbor boy. So Tyler, I need your hands for one minute. You hold this still over on this side here though. Because otherwise your hands will be in the camera. So you hold it right there. So I'm going to take a piece of string. You guys, this is just your regular sewing string. <laughs> Nothing fancy. You don't need to buy anything. Just buy the cheap $1 stuff at the dollar store or at the at the um, Joanne Fabrics, wherever you go. So just take a string. It doesn't... Oh, I just tuck it in there, but that's okay. Any length, just enough to work with. Hey, girl, I'm new certified nail technician. I love your videos and I'm learning so much. Oh, that's so awesome, April. We're here every day. We have so many brand ambassadors. We go several times a day. Actually, I'm going right now for about a half hour because Nancy was going to go live. And I'm like, no, I got to go. So I'm doing one. Then we'll take a 10-minute break. And then you guys will get to see Nancy. So if I can hold this between my fingers somehow here. My nails are so long. All right, so here, this way you can see it. So I don't want to waste any polish. You can put this on a palette. I'm just going to paint the string because it's easier. I don't waste any polish. I don't want to waste any product. So just go back and forth. See how I'm coating it? So you don't want it, you don't want it gooey on there. Just thinly coated. Now if I can get my assistant's hand back. He's getting tired. Hello, Whitney. Hi, Al. Hi, Dreamy. Hi, Nicole. So what I've done so far is I've done really only one coat of gel polish black, our number 24. And then I put a coat of our matte finish top coat. Then what I did is this string right here, which I'm going to stick in there again. This string. And I coated it with my white gel polish. Not You can see it's not thick. I did it really thinly. If you put it too thick, it's going to end up gloppy on there. I don't know a better word than gloppy. But so it's on there. Now watch. Tyler's going to hold this really still. Because if you had a client, their fingers would be straight and it's really easy. Because this takes two hands. So just take your string. And now is everybody watching? Okay, I'll give you one second. Pay attention. Because I can't repeat it. So just place it. Set it down. And then watch you guys. I'm just going to pull it. But look at how awesome. That's it, you guys. So simple. I can't repeat it. But let me show you closer. Look at how cute. So now I'm going to pop it in the lamp. Our gel polish takes 60 seconds to cure. So it took off almost all of my gel polish I had on there. So there's a little bit left, but I wasted very little. So now the reason that I use matte finish top coat, though, you can do it in polish, cure it, and be done. But then you can't add pigment. So if you have the matte finish... It's going to cure. The gel polish is still going to have a dispersion layer, so it's still going to be tacky. And then the matte finish is going to be matte finish. Yes, Tina. So the matte finish is going to be dry, so I can add pigments to it. If I have, if I use top coat or polish, I can't add pigments because the whole thing's wet and it's going to get pigment everywhere. So I'm actually going to use my number 13 brush. It's just a round pouncer brush. So it'll take the pigment and then I can just pounce it on the nail. So this is all done. I cured it for one minute. So look at that. And you can, however you drag it, but I don't use these big pots, you guys. It gets way too much pigment powder. I don't like wasting my products. In case you haven't ever watched me, I'm thrifty with my products and everything else. So I use the cap. Yeah, you can do it with the chain too. I, you know, I tried doing it with the chain and it was failure. Failure, failure, failure. So when I do it on my acrylic pouring, I use butcher string. I use a much thicker string. And so I was like, I gotta, what can I use? I can't use the chain. I didn't have any luck with it. So I, um, I practiced around. And so I came up with just using thread for your sewing machine. It's just sewing machine thread. That's all it is. Really, really thin. Gives you a nice easy line. So if you're new to this, try the chain. But if you're new to it, definitely try the, the thread. You're going to have instant success. And that's what we want to do. Who wants to struggle? I don't want to struggle. So I'm going to use my number 13 brush. And then I'm just going to pick up. There is enough pigment in, your, in the top of your lid. If you pick it up out of the jar, 
you're gonna pick up too much so just see i called it a pouncing brush i don't know what you call this that's what i call it i make up names for everything in case you haven't figured this out yet is what i call it and then i'm gonna i have a napkin off to the side i cleaned out my pigment i'm gonna pick up the pink and then i'm gonna blend it back and forth into the purple you guys this is gonna make such an amazing nail and it's so freaking simple I tried dental floss. Make sure if you're using dental floss, you have the round. I only have that straight dental floss. It's like flat. So I tried it. It didn't work. It was too flat. So if you have the old-fashioned round dental floss, it'll work. And always bring your pigment up to the color before so that it blends so that you get that ombre effect. So I just did the orange. I'm brushing this out mm -hmm. on the side. Oh, the Filbert brush. Sorry. Pouncing brush is not correct. Although I kind of liked it. I think we should rename it. I'm going to grab a little bit more pink, blend it up into my purple up here. But I do use the Filbert brush a lot. I use it for glitters. I use it for everything. It's my most, I have the whole brush set, but I can tell you this is the one I use the most. Hello, China. All right, so now to get the pigment off, this brush, my unicorn brush, this is a super dense brush. So if you're trying to get the pigment off and you're using like a kabuki brush or a blush brush, it's not dense enough. If you use the unicorn brush, it just takes it right off because it's so dense, but it'll stay right where your gel polish is. So just go back and forth and it's all done. So simple, but look at how cute this is. You guys, I did this so fast. And you can do it, pull it a different way, get a different shape. I just kind of did like a half round and then pulled it. So now, you know I'm not happy right here. I have to have some crystals on it. And you guys, I got the Transcended Kit. So I got to show you because I think this is my favorite kit I bought. So this is it. If I zoom out, let me see if, how do I zoom out? I'm trying. My fingers don't work. Assistant, there we go. Assistant's hands, I think, are warmer. So this is the Transcendent Kit. These are all my frames. We got all the brand new mixed frames. I just dumped, I don't know, three different bags of them in there because they're so cute. But so it comes with the silver, which is like a crystal clear silver. And you get it in the square, the S shape. Also comes in the raindrop. Comes in the Roombas. And then also the flame. But you guys, these are so gorgeous and they're all made to work together. But then I think my favorite color, which I'm not using tonight. See when I put my hand under it, look at it, it's clear because these are translucent. So when I put my hand under it, look at the color, it's blue. It's so freaking gorgeous. So that is the diamond, then another raindrop, but a little bit bigger. Then we have the octagon and the pear. And then I don't know what this one's called. Maybe Nancy knows. I call it double pointed end because each end of it, if I get one that's separated out, it will get one. What does she call it? She didn't call it yet. So you can see each end has a point to it. So I just call it the double pointed. I don't care what it's called. That's in my head. I know what it is. Then we have the rosy pink in the hearts, the square. Then again, my double pointed. And then this is like, um, a teardrop. It's a skinnier than a pear. So I call it teardrop. And then I have the oval. And then this fantastic color again. So two of the colors have becker. See how the pink has a becker? And then the silver has a becker of gray. The gold and the blue are both translucent. There's no becker on them. So like if you're putting it over a transfer foil, your transfer foil shows through. I don't know. Let me see if I can find that one. I got that nail somewhere. I did it the other day. I was like so happy with it. It's right here somewhere. It's the one where my power went out. But look at this. I found it. So see that? That's with transcended crystals with rose gold. But you can see my transfer foil right through it. Hello, Lala. But so I, you guys, I am so in love with this kit right now. But so then in the gold... It comes with the square, the polished rice, the heart again, the shards, 
and then it's got the little teeny diamond. So we got the big diamond in the blue, and then we got the little teeny diamond. Hello, Mary Kay, how are you tonight? All right, so I showed you the kit. I am so in love with it, but I am so in love with this. It's so gorgeous. Let me see, I'll zoom back in again. There we go. Look at that. It's like a, just a really awesome brush stroke, but you guys, it's so simple. If you tried to brush stroke that, it's not gonna come out like this. It's gonna be too perfect. I like more random, so the thread just makes it so awesome. So let's put some crystals on it. So I'm gonna put my cap back on my white gel polish. So I'm getting out my condensed glue gel. This is part of the trifecta. So this is step one of the trifecta. Step two is the no wipe top coat. And step three is the precision glue gel. You guys, this is on sale right now. The trifecta is on sale for $59.99. You can get during the Valentine's special, which ends on Saturday, you get 20% off. So it's $12 off. So $48. And then it also comes with a mega mix of crystals. And then if you use my code, you get free shipping. Just use code Vicky J. But if you're new to crystals or you've been doing crystals forever, it doesn't matter. Trifecta is what's going to make them hold and they're going to last long. All right, so now I'm going to use my twin tip brush. Can you give him a treat? My little fat dog. Soon to be fat dog because I go live too much. So I'm using my condensed glue gel. You guys, this is really thick. Whoops. So you can see I'm putting a lot of pressure because it's thick. Some people think, oh my gosh, it's too is it supposed to be this thick? Yes. This is not a self-leveling gel. So when you put this on, it's not gonna level out. So I'm pushing with a lot of pressure. I'm gonna take off any excess because I still got a little bit too much on there. Don't worry if you leave streaks, hills, valleys, anything because when you use your no wipe top coat, it's gonna level it all out. I know, Tina, it is just like a must have. If there's one product you have to have, Trifecta would be the one. And then you get crystals with it. All right, I'm putting my caps. You guys, to clean out the filbert brush, all you do is on a no wipe top or on a lint-free wipe, just Brush it on there and all of your pigment will be out of there. So now I'm going to use my no wipe top coat. I'm going to put my cap back on my condensed glue gel first though. There's so many photo initiators in all of our products actually that if you don't put the cap back on, it is going to cure and it cures really quickly. If I use my flash cure light, it cures in like four seconds. It'll skim coat. Oh, that's so awesome. Akai, you are going to be so happy. So this, though, unlike the condensed glue gel, you want to float this over. So don't use a lot of pressure. Use a lot of pressure when you put your condensed on because it's very thick. But the no wipe, I'm just floating it over the surface. I don't want to drag it into the condensed glue gel because I'm putting this over so that there's no dispersion layer. If you do happen, oh, it's okay, SM. This is gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna stop in about probably no more than 12 to 15 minutes. I'll load it uh, IGTV and then you can just rewatch it. But I did the colors with pigment. Oh, good job, Tyler. You got it right this time. All right, so that's there. I have, let's see if they don't move. Ta-da. I always plan this out. I don't, it's in the bottom here. You can see just a little bit. It's hard because the transcendent crystals are clear. So I always plan out my crystals beforehand just to give me an idea. It doesn't mean that it's exactly what I'm going to use. So I am going to use that. Let me get my little brushes out of the way because I need to be able to pull my other tray over here because that's had my beads in it. Oh, thank you, Danny. So I'm going to start first with my main crystal. Where am I at here? Okay, we're good. And I don't want to cover this all up. And that is why I chose these, the gold transcended is because you can see through them. So I'll get these two placed and then I'll know where the rest of them go. But that's what, look at, you can see right through. There is a crystal there. When you see it from the side and you can see it from different lights, it looks amazing. But then I'm using the orange crystal because I use the orange pigment. I'm like, oh, that's going to just make it pop so good. 
So then I'm doing the diamond, the small diamond shape, and I put it into a V. But then, let's see, I wanna put a frame. And that's gonna offset my crystal a little bit more too. So I just, this frame is actually, I cut it. It was a little bit longer. Just use your crystal clipper and you can just trim it. It's really easy. And then I add it. I just got these. So then I'm like, oh, I got to use them. So I got the square. It's square, hearts, pear shape, all different ones. They're in the crystal packs, the new crystal pack. Somehow I got a fuzz in there. We'll, we'll get it out there. And then this one, I'm using the square, but I'm going to place it like a diamond right inside the square mount. Then I cut some more. This is one full, like the cuticle halo. I cut it just directly in half. And I should have placed it before I placed the other ones, but I'll just get them out of the way. Pop it in there. And then I'll push it back. I'll put it on the other side. But it just kind of hugs that crystal and just sets it off a little bit more. So I'll push these back to where they're supposed to be. It's so cute because they're translucent. I just love that look. It gives me more definition. When you guys, when I take a picture of it, then you'll see how awesome it is. And then I'm going to offset it with a little bit more of the orange crystal. I don't have that one placed right, but that's okay. I'll get it in one second. Then use your dotting tool. Am I still in frame? Yeah. Use your dotting tool and then just adjust everything to where it's supposed to be. But see, I went over my design, but my design's still there. Oh, thank you, Tina. I know Tracy is so awesome. I know Nancy's so artsy. But you know what? You don't have to be real artsy to do this. This is so simple to do. So now I've got my tray here. You guys know I'm not going to be happy unless I put some bullion in here. So I grabbed a couple. I'll adjust them. I'm just kind of placing them right now. I got two here. So then I just put them down. And then just use your dotting tool. Because I don't care if I drag these through my condensed glue gel and top coat. It's actually just going to seal coat them. And it'll make them wear better. I'm going to seal coat them anyhow. Look, at it. it looks so good, though. I'm so happy with this. I'm like, oh, I got to show this today. I haven't shown this yet. And I'm like, I keep forgetting. So now I have the big beads. I'm going to wait one second. So I have the bigger beads. They are bigger. I'll see if I can get them on the tray here without them rolling everywhere. One just rolled under. You wanna place these last because they're heavier and they're round, they're not flat. So you wanna make sure you place them last because they are gonna try to roll. It doesn't even want me to pick it up with my crystal picker. Oh, thank you, Sheila. So now I'm gonna put some more beads because beads is just what sets it off. The crystals are great, but it's the beads that make it look like jewelry. So just tuck them in. I keep getting lucky and getting two at a time. You guys, if you're doing a lot of bullion, like if you want to go around a whole crystal instead of doing a frame like I did up here, just use your twin tip brush. Dip it in a little bit of the condensed glue gel, top coat, whatever, and then you'll be able to pick up 10 at a time and place them. So do this up here, and then one on the other side. If you want up here, you could do three. I'm just going to do one so it doesn't seem too busy, because this is such an open piece. I don't want it to look busy anywhere. And I'm going to finish off at the bottom here. It looks like it needs one, just at the point. Oh, and I think when you look at it, then you see the transcendent crystal, I think just to offset it a little bit, I'm going to put one at each end of this frame. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Laura. All right. Oh, see you later, buddy. All right, so this looks great. And then I just have to do my big crisp or my big beads. So just thought like right in here and right here. So when you're doing the big beads, keep it flat. Because they will want to shift. I've got my flash care light right next to me. I've already got it turned on. So I'm going to get these. I'm close. Right where I want it. And really important, your client would make those roll before she ever gets to the gearing lamp. So give it a flash gear, just four seconds. Oh, I will DM you, Tracy. I know, do you not love it? You can see with my light on there, you can see all the crystals. But so flash gear that, because those round beads will roll so quick, quickly. All right, so I'm gonna pop it into my lamp now for one minute. I already put my flash cure light, turned it off. I'm going to put my caps on my pigment so I don't spill it. I cannot wait to see what Nancy's going to do. So after I'm done, I'll load this IGTV. You can watch it back. It doesn't take long if you just want to fast forward to the very beginning and see how I did the pigments and the string art. Go ahead and rewatch it. If you like it, share it so that more people get to see it. Because you know what? That's what we're all about here at Glitz. We share all of our secrets. Well, we don't have any secrets because we share them all. So no secrets, but we like to share with everybody. So share with everybody else you know too so that they can learn. Oh, thank you, Extra. Oh, hi, Tom. Hi, Brazil. I didn't see you guys come in, but Mary Kay just said hello. So I got a heads up. All right, so this is almost cured. So next, I'm going to use my precision glue gel. If you didn't know, this part twists off in the middle. Oh, thank you, Tina. And there's a brush applicator. Now my dog's going to go crazy. But I'm not going to use that. That is really good for sealing all your metal pieces, but I don't have that much. But if I'm doing like a chain like this, definitely use the brush. It's way easier. I'm going to use the pinpoint end. I'm going to put my dog out because we only have a couple minutes. Oh, hello, Mama Vic. I'll be right back. been almost done if it wasn't for my dog good grief no he wants to go outside then he wants to come in and get a treat plus we also got like 10 to 12 inches of snow today there's so much so i went out plowed my driveway did most of it i have a truck thank god and a gravel driveway so i did most of it using my truck i packed it down and then i used my snow blower to clean it up this is so cute so now I'm gonna use my precision glue gel. First, I know that these metal pieces are gonna feel scratchy because it's metal on metal. I'm gonna go around those, but feel around your other crystals to see. You'll feel the glue gel and the top coat. It feels real smooth. If it doesn't feel real smooth, like right here, I can feel just a little scratchy. I'm gonna go over my metal pieces, but then feel up here too. Oh, you got a lot of snow too? Eight degrees in Lafayette. Oh my gosh, in Louisiana, that's crazy. I think right now we had 25 for a high today. Right now, I would say it's probably 12. So I'm going to go around this crystal at the top. Give it a squeeze. Mine's not coming out yet. There we go. You just want to work with that little teeny bead. If you get a lot out, you're going to flood the edge of your crystal, and it's going to look like you have a ring around it, like a donut. So just go around with a little teeny bit. Get that edge. Am I still in focus? Yeah. I lost my nail whisper. He took his PlayStation and went home. They didn't have school today, so he spent, I took the day off, and my clients were not going to come in. I said, I'm just taking off. Twenty-eight degrees. It's so it's so cold, isn't it? We're supposed to hit, I think we'll be back up into the 30s by Friday. But Friday, 
I'll be on a plane at 6 a.m. Eastern time to go to Florida to go see Miss Nancy. You guys, we have so much new stuff coming out from you for you guys. You're going to be so excited. So me and Nancy this weekend, we'll try and go live every day. I don't know about Sunday. Sunday is usually Nancy's day off. Maybe I'll go live. But she'll be doing my nails, so we'll do a live set. And then she'll go live, I'll go live. It'll be lots of live. We're going to have a lot of fun. And I don't know what I can find in the warehouse to show you guys new stuff. If Nancy, close your eyes so you can't hear or see. I'll try and show you guys. I can't show you the big new stuff because then I get in trouble. But if I can find some stuff to show you, I will while I'm sneaking around. Hello, luxury. Oh, I just missed what you've seen in Scotland. What did she say? It's really windy here in the islands in Scotland. Oh, Tina, you're in Scotland? I've never been there. The closest I've been to Scotland is North Sunderland in England. So I was like way, way up there, but just by the border of Scotland. Hello, Nay. I know, Tracy. It's bad when I'm there, though. My poor credit card. Because then I'm like, Nancy, I need this. I need all the newest stuff. Give it all to me. I will keep a secret. It's just like Vicky. You're not that good at secrets. <laughs> I think she has like the really good stuff in there that's like new. I think she hides it so that I can't find it because she knows I'm not that good at secrets. <laughs> but that's okay because then it saves me more money. Six inches of ice and snow. Oh my gosh, no. We only got fluffy snow. We got the really fluffy snow, so I did have to, I did my driveway with, I just run it over with my truck, and I packed it all down, and then I took in the high spots that I couldn't get in the middle, then um, I used the shovel to clean that up, but look at how gorgeous this is, and you guys, these are neon pigments, so let's see if I use my light, turn this one off, there, dark, this is my kitchen light, but look at you guys, it's so gorgeous. But then I've got neon. If I do it farther away, look at that. It's hard to see. I got too much overhead light on. I'm not even hitting the light because I'm looking for, through my camera. But so if you go to the club, they're going to glow. Oh, hello, Cynthia. And then I knocked my light down. There we go. Ta da! So gorgeous and so simple, you guys. It is so easy to do, but the transcended crystals, when you, I wish you guys could see this. I'm going to take a picture of it and then you'll see how freaking awesome they are. The cool thing is because you get that crystal look, you get the flash of them, but then you still see all your artwork underneath it. I could have used the rosy pink and then I would have salad, but I didn't want to lose my design behind because it's so cool. So I'll take a picture of it, I'll post it, and then you get to see what it looks like underneath the regular camera. But then look at just the definition, so pretty. But it's such a super easy. If you're new to nail art and stuff like that, this gives you that really cool look. And then you get to add the, you don't have to add the pigment, you could just leave it white. You don't have to add the pigment at all, but using the white is going to make your pigment pop if you do choose to use it. Hello, Cynthia. Third stimulus, March 13th. Oh, that'd be amazing. I need that. All right, so I'm going to let you guys go. I'll save this to IGTV. You can watch it back. Nancy will be on in about 10 minutes. That way you get 10 minutes to go back and watch the beginning of this. Really, really simple. So freaking amazing. What an amazing outcome, but such an easy technique. Hello, Neil. All right, you guys. Love you. I'll see you again probably tomorrow. I have to work a really long day, so we'll see if I can make it. I think I can, but I got 13 hours because I had to make up from today. So I'm going to be really tired, but I miss going live, so I'll probably be back on again tomorrow. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Nancy will be on in 10 minutes. Bye.